Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna do my spring decor haul. So this one is jam-packed. On this side I have all of the new items that I've picked up in the last couple of weeks. So they're fresh off the press. And then I have some of my older items on this side. One big old spring bin. But let's just jump right into this video. So let's start with new decor items and let's start with Walmart. I didn't pick up much from there, but I fell in love with these. These great rind carrots, these were $4.48. They're big, they also have a smaller size, but I just thought these were so cute. I like the little greenery that they used on top. But this year for my Easter decor, I am going more neutral. In the past, I've done pastels, but I feel like neutral decor, um, I don't get sick of it as quickly. So more neutral this year. I will do a few pastels in my daughter's play area, but love these, so cute. $4.48, such a good price. And that is it, I think, from Walmart. All I picked up from Walmart. From Hobby Lobby, I picked up two things. I got these neutral speckled eggs. They were $5.99 with 40% off. I have uh, speckled eggs from there in the past, but they're more in a pastel tone. I think I'll use those upstairs in my daughter's play area, but I thought these were cute for other areas in my home. So very cute and $6 with 40% off, such a good price. So you guys can kind of see the vibe that I'm going for. Um, a disclaimer, they are doing construction. Um, I live in a new development in the Dallas, Tec Texas area and a house very close to my house is being worked on. So if you hear any like hammering or anything, that is that. Um, next, I love this piece. It is this um, little bunny head. Look at the glasses. They are so cute. I love how it's all chippy. I love the little bin in the ear. It was $25.99 with that 40% off. And I just love it. Like, I don't know how I'm going to style it. Maybe I'll do it on my coffee table. But I thought that this little guy needed a moment in my home. So cute, so adorable. And like, with the grapevine, I just love it. Okay, next, um, these are a few items that I picked up from Aldi. Not necessarily Easter um, or spring, but I'm gonna use them in my spring decor. So I picked up this diffuser. Originally it was $19.99, but I got it on sale for $9.99 at Aldi. Um, Aldi's fine. They're like, it's usually an aisle or two of like just random stuff. I love going through there. But got this diffuser. It's in the wicker, which I love having throughout my home. I don't have a lot of color, so I all the textures will make your home more warm and cozy and inviting. So love this. I'm not sure where I'm going to use it. I think I'm going to use it in my kids' bathroom, but don't hold me to it. But I thought this was really, really, really cute. And then I picked up another one. This is going to go in my daughter's room. Like I said, it's not necessarily Easter or spring decor, but I'm going to be introducing it. Um, this was $6.99. Her room has a lot of pinks. Um, she has board and bat in there, but the top part is pink, um, and she has a lot of unicorn stuff. So I thought this was really cute, and for $6.99, it'll be great to have a diffuser in her room as well. Okay, now to Target. From Target, um, the first thing I picked up was this cozy pillow. It's like a pretty good size. I'm going to use it down in my main living room on my sofa. Um, I love the little bunny tail on it. It's nice. It's neutral. This was only $10, and it's from the the cheaper line that they have at Target. So I just thought it was really pretty and it's where they keep all of the pillows. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a nice neutral, but just super cozy for this time. 
I also picked up one of these, and this is more neutral decor. You can use it anytime, not necessarily for spring and Easter. One of these faux potted plants. It is only $5. I have another one just like it, um, but I needed, a, I wanted to pick up another one. So this one I think is gonna go in my kid's bathroom, but just love it. I love having greenery everywhere in my home. From the Target dollar spot, I picked up this little riser. I have one that I use for my soaps and stuff like that, um, but I needed a new one. So I thought I would have like a potted plant there and then put my soap dispenser here and then maybe like a little bunny there for spring. I think that's really cute. Um, this was only $5. I'm gonna try to have my husband spray it maybe that'll make it last a little bit longer because near the sink it does get wet a bit but it's only five dollars so i like to change these in and out what i loved was the little beading around the side i thought that was really pretty and the little feet but just a cute little wooden riser and i think it's adorable and we're going to spray it and we'll see how that works with that The next thing that we picked up, I actually got two of these, these little bunnies. I think they're so cute. So in my head, I feel like we're gonna have a plant, my soap dispenser, which is kind of in um, like the wood wicker tone. It's from Target as well. And then I'll have like a cute little bunny in the little soap dispenser. I thought that would be really cute near the sink and a nice little springy touch. Um, these were $3 from Target. My Target had a ton of them. I picked up the one that was standing up. I love the little bend in his ear. And then this one is sitting down $3 as well. And I can't wait to use him in some area, other area in my home. So, so cute. Love it. I think you guys are kind of getting to see the vibe. So a lot of neutrals, but I'm going to use some texture to warm up my space a bit and I feel like with the neutrals I won't get sick of it after a while I'm just a neutral girl I find it just very calming and relaxing having a neutral environment guys I almost forgot my bunny mugs because I don't store them in the garage I actually store them where in my cabinet where I keep my seasonal mugs but I have these two beauties, Target brought them back this year, but aren't they so stinking cute? These were $5, and I think they are $5 again this year, but really cute and adorable. I love like the faux hair, but so perfect. Easy for stacking, but just really cute. So guys, let's get into my big old bin and my existing decor that I have had, that I have. I have actually been collecting all of my seasonal decor. I have a lot of it, but I've been collecting it over years and years and years. So each season, I may add in a few new pieces and just get rid of some of the old. Um, I am, I feel like as I get older, I'm getting more selective about the pieces that I am bringing in our home. And I do go through my bins each year and stuff that I don't use, I give it away to somebody that can have use out of it. I don't want it just to sit in my bin collecting dust when there are other people that will, you know, take good care of it and use it in their existing decor. But let's jump into this stuff and check out what we have. The first thing I did pick out is this big old bag of moss. It's in a Marshalls bag, but I'm pretty sure I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. It's in that green color, and it's in my spring bin because I'm going to use it in a few vignettes that I have that I'm going to make around the house. Next, and I'm not sure I'm going to use these this year. I did do a tablescape last year or the year before that, and I had these little plates that were from Target which I use them with my existing um, plates, but I'm not sure I'm necessarily gonna use them this year. Um, we'll see. 
You have this pillow cover. This one is from Hobby Lobby um, a few years back. And I may use this in the play area. It's just simple, really muted tones. This little Happy Easter sign, pretty sure it was either from the Target Dollar Spot or the Dollar Tree a few years ago, and I usually use this in the playroom. Of colored birdhouses, not sure if I will take these out and incorporate them into my decor this year, but you guys know my love of birdhouses. I'm obsessed with them, but I have a few of these. I have a few little birdies as well. And then in here we have some spring florals. These ones are from Michaels. I get a lot of my spring florals from Michaels. I think they have, um, Hobby Lobby probably has a little bit better pricing, but I think they're just good quality. So these were really pretty spring florals from there. A ton of spring florals. These little, I'm not even sure what they're called. These little puffers, those are my favorite, but just different little spring floral pieces from Michael. More spring florals this pretty little spring pot this was actually a gift but Brooklyn usually my daughter will use it in her um, play area you can see her play area will be kind of like these tones soft muted kind of pastels just really pretty little welcome sign I've had it from for years it is from Michaels it's really cute if I use it in my main area, I was thinking maybe I would paint those little eggs white if I use it in my main area, but we'll see. I have this runner. I picked it up from, I want to say my local grocery store that was near me in California. It was an Albertsons. I felt like in their little section, they always had some cute little home decor pieces. But this is really pretty, kind of the colorway that I'm going to go with in Brooklyn's play area. If we do have, I always, I like this runner. If we have, I'm not going to put it out on the table for every day, but if we have people over or we're hosting like a cookie decorating or anything like that, I like to put this out just to be really festive. Signs. This one says, follow the bunny. He has chocolate. This whole bin is Brooklyn's play area bin. She has some carrots. These are these ones are from um, Hobby Lobby. They actually they still have these. And then this little cute, adorable little bunny figurine. I'll probably use in our main living area, but. This was a little bin that we got from the Target dollar spot a few years ago when their bins this big would be $3. I feel like today they would probably throw a $5 sticker on there. Large eggs. The neutral ones I will probably use this year. I have a few of these speckled. They're like the little tiny ones I just picked up from Hobby Lobby. I have a ton of them. Or also, I could use these outside on my front porch. I have this little sign, um, Happy Easter. I usually hang this on my front porch. This is from Michaels. I hang it in between. I have like a, a greenery wreath, and I usually put this in between. My front porch does have a little bit of color to it. Here is a cute little egg plate that we use to, you know, when we're decorating cookies and doing fun little Easter spring activities. Another cute little sign for Brooklyn's play um, area. This one says Happy Easter. We have this cute little basket Easter game for Brooklyn's play area. Um, it's like she can do matching and patterning and all of that stuff, but it's this cute little playset game. This was from the Target dollar spot a few years back. Cute, adorable bag. 
I used to put this on my peg rail in California. Um, I gotta find a spot for it. But it's so cute, Target Dollar Spot 5. And then a few tea towels. I have this one, this cured one. This one's fun. I feel like this, these two we used last year in Brooklyn's play area. So cute. This tray, this was from the Target Dollar Spot um, that I use in my kitchen area. I just combine it with all my other little trays and it adds a fun little Easter touch. These little bunnies, these are from Hobby Lobby. They have them this year as well and they're pretty, they got a little weight to them. But these are just fun little um, greenery bunnies, so cute. This tea kettle, this is from Walmart, it's, no, Hobby Lobby, this is the Dolly Parton line. Not sure if I will use it this year, but it's really cute. And then in here we have this mini wreath. This is from Target. It goes along with like the colors for Brooklyn's play area. Just muted pastels, but fun and pretty for a little girl's playroom. This is the garland I use in her play area as well. It has these bunnies and then carrots. Just really fun and cute. And then I have a ton of eggs. Speckled eggs. Like I told you guys, these ones are in like the fun colors. Those are from Hobby Lobby. They come in a pack. They have them every year. And then she has a bunch of little carrots as well. If you guys enjoyed this little video, um, remember the first set of items that I showed are currently in store so you guys can run out and grab them. And a lot of this stuff, especially the Hobby Lobby stuff, they bring back year after year. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys very soon with another spring video. Bye, guys.